Hello all, today we will be discussing about A and V pattern, exotropia and esotropia. So basically this pattern squint, this is a type of a paralytic strabismus or paralytic squint where the amount of deviation is not same in all the cardinal points of gaze. So in A pattern heterotropia, what is happening? It is a basically a vertically incompetent horizontal heterotropia where there is increased convergence at up gaze and increased divergence at down gaze. That means if we check the convergence at up gaze it is much more and at down gaze the amount of divergence is more. Now what is a A pattern isotropia? A pattern isotropia the in case of A pattern isotropia as you can see here the isotropia will increase in the up gaze and decrease in the down gaze okay so up gaze if we are checking with a like prism bar cover test you will find more amount of isotropia or a convergence squint in up gaze and it will decrease the amount of isotropia will decrease in the down gaze so let's come to the figure you can see here see the amount of isotropy in primary gaze you can see the middle figure okay now the amount of isotropy in the up gaze is much more compared to the middle gaze that is a primary gaze position and amount of isotropy at a down gaze is lesser as compared to the primary gaze now what is an a pattern exotropia exotropia will decrease in up gaze and increase in down gaze if we see the you can see in the primary gaze position there is the eye is exotropic now if we check the extraocular um at up gaze you can see the amount of exotropia has decreased and it will increase downwards so if we are moving the torch light while examining the um you can see a uh, basically a, a pattern when you move the torch light okay that means the amount of exotropia is lesser at the up gaze and slowly slowly it is increasing towards the down gaze now coming to v pattern heterotropia v pattern heterotropia is vertically incompetent horizontal deviation with increasing convergence at down gaze and increasing divergence at up gaze so difference of 15 prism diopters or more is clinically significant in case of a pattern heterotropia a difference of 10 prism diopter is clinically is more than uh, 10 prism diopters or more is clinically significant in vp pattern it is 15 prism or more is clinically significant so v pattern heterotropia means increasing convergence at down gaze and increasing divergence at up gaze so let's come to v pattern exotropia you can see this diagram exotropia will increase in up gaze and decrease in down gaze so if we do a, a um check with a torch light okay exotropia will increase slowly towards up gaze and when you are moving the torch light towards the down the exotropia is slowly decreasing so it will look like basically a v that means the exotropia is lowest at the down gaze and highest at the up gaze so show the torch light slowly from down to up then you will see a v pattern basically if you can see this figure as compared to the primary gaze the up gaze amount of exotropia at the up gaze is much more amount of exotropia at down gaze as compared to the primary gaze is much less so this is all about v pattern exotropia now coming to v pattern isotropia it is just ulta isotropia will decrease in down gaze uh, in sorry isotropia will increase in down gaze and decrease in up gaze okay so you can see here the isotropic the eye is isotropic at primary gaze at up gaze the isotropia has decreased and at down gaze the isotropia has quite increased so this is a v pattern isotropia thank you all of you